Greetings mortals, I'm the Fallen Shogun and welcome to a bit of an odd one, I've been stone half right now as you can see I have my village and so on, but instead of actually doing an episode on it, as you can see we have walls and so on, I'm going to be talking about modular construction, or modular construction tutorial, because let's face it, there isn't too much in the game, I know there's another template section, but let's face it, I like being defensive and I like building things, so segments, as of right now I have a wall segment, which is down like this, with a hole inside it. So as it goes right now, the AI locks itself inside buildings like this with all of the scaffolding they put in. So you need a way in and out for them to go. So we also have, let's see, have a look. We have the gateway template, the same thing. As you can see, there's a hole on each side for it. So people go inside the hole, and also you seal it off afterwards. Now the problem I'm having right now is I've built a tower. The tower it has an issue because when you build a wall, you cannot delete the wall or make a hole through it. So if you're building large scale structures and need to make a hole through it for your own stair scaffolding, you should build it using slabs and not actual walls itself. You cannot delete the walls. They just do not disappear. So do not do that. So you're going to actually do this. You can destroy floors. You can destroy normal blocks. You cannot destroy walls. So let's get straight into this. So I need a new wall. I like this wall. It's fine. There's issues with it. So to start off, to make it easier, because otherwise you will crash the game, you will want to put down, let's have a look, a foundation. So my foundation for my base wall was 5 by 17 so they can actually slot together each one of these slots together to form a wall as you can imagine over here lots of these together would look pretty epic so i want this modular segment so let's see i want a bigger wall so that's five by five let's make it seven by 17. so you can see start off with the base let's change the color so it actually fits in with everything else there we go you want to quickly put the wall up that way it becomes a building now the problem with this is like i've said let's do this they can't get inside. You need currently a way to get in. So let's go. Let's make a hole here. And then put a wall, put the stairs. And I don't care what the stairs look like because let's face it, they'll be sealed off. But I want to be able to get it in and out. There we go. So I'll just come in, do that, and out. Now, obviously, the actual tricky work itself will be using my bricks. So just go in here, use the age old thing. I'm going to just quickly do a bit of detail. Obviously, you just want to all look the same. And there you go. Now, I'm not sure if we can share these yet, although I don't think anyone would actually want to use that. But yeah, the best way to build is in segments in a modular way. You can just add or subtract. Because this wall here, as you can see, this is one module. It is the gateway module. Obviously, here, if I want to put a wall, set, wall module on, I can just do this. Just links on. And as you can see, just do another one. I call them segments with the other fact modules. So modular construction, as you can see, we now have a gateway and a lot of wall. And each one obviously build it in pieces. I don't actually have a corner piece that will be coming up, but yes, this is how you build good, quick buildings, put down a segment. So I'm going to continue constructing this one to show you how it works. As you can see, I just want to quickly go down here, do pale oyster, do that. Then let's see, I'm going to continue with my usual motifs. Let's put down the volcanoes. And obviously the only way to get onto a brand new wall when it starts will be to add a second construction using stairs. You do not want your stairs to be part of the main construction, otherwise you can't delete them. If we go over here to show this module segment. See these stairs? They're a separate building entirely. If it was part of number 67, it would actually be deleted as soon as I delete that. So unless you actually have a segment with stairs, you do not want to put stairs as part of the building. So obviously none of these actually have the walkway. If we go back over to my other segment, the tower segment has the staircase, as you can see. The tower segment, you go up the stairs and onto the wall. That is not completed, so we have the temporary. Bear in mind, you do not want that as part of your wall at all. So yeah, make sure you do that in mind. Let's get back to this. So as you can see, we already have one wall segment going up. Let's give it a little bit of this. Let's do it that way. There we go. Obviously, I do it in a weird way. So, like these, each one of these towers will be three, but that is fine. Do the other side as well. 
So when this is done, obviously, this will be just another segment which you can then clip onto anywhere else. If you build them all in one go, you've got to be very, very, very sure of yourself. Whereas with stuff like walls and even houses, let's face it, you can just build them in segments. You can have like segmented buildings you then clip on next to each other. You can have one door in one or even just an open area. So you take this wall out here and have this push back. So you actually want to just put another building on the other side and extend the house. So that's what you want to do. Go into here, do this. So as I'm just showing you, this is just me building a too high wall now obviously i want this to be a bit different i'm going to take this bit out and this bit out so that way when i do this i can put this wall in there now, as you can see they'll have trouble getting in and out so again i will need this now we're going to now have a stairway in obviously i want to put this bit back in so let's go into here put this bit of wall just here well, it's the floor really but whatever there you go Go to hit, go to hit, go to hit. So what you really want to do is make sure your segments are as uniform as possible. So I'm going to put this down. I can put down multiple ones of them. Otherwise, you will have issues. But as you can see, a walls, once you get a single one, a single slot in, they start getting pretty damn unique. Once they all go together. I mean, they don't look okay to start off with until you get a load in one go. Oops, mop it. I'm doing this real time because I'm actually just making sure uh, people know what's going on. It's be slotted into my series. And like I say, once you're done with these holes, you can just seal them up yourself. Although that inside one, I don't care. No one can see. The top one, I will care about because people will walk along it. Do that to there. And that to there. As you can see, we now have... That's annoying. That's going to annoy me. And the way you're doing this, if there's one issue, you can just edit it later. If every one of these blocks you can delete, but like I say, walls you cannot delete, so that will be an issue if you get it wrong. Bear that in mind. That's why, even though it takes a lot longer, it is sometimes best to build everything entirely out of slabs. It takes a lot longer, but once the module is complete, you can spam that to high heaven. And that's what you really want. Because now, once this wall is complete, I can then stop putting another three or four of them down. There we go. So obviously I want this bit up to here, to here, to here, to here, to here. So once this is done, as you can see, this is a brand new modular segment. Completely and utterly done. I'm obviously going to have to build a basic ladder up to it at this point in time. But yes, there you go. And a bit of guffins on. Let's go there and there so it will be lit up at night but otherwise this is basically how I want it they're, they're blue aren't they that's annoying okay fine we'll do this do that add a bit of royal blue here into the middle there we go oops get rid of that but yeah once this segment is done I can then start spamming it all over the place now for those watching my series, this is probably going to be a before I get to that point in the series. So you'll actually see what the walls are going to look like. But yeah, this is a modular segment, just how I want it to look. So yeah. Tag nabbit. This is how I build, this is how I intend to build. Now, like I say, there isn't a workshop to share this stuff yet, which if there ever is, I'd quite happily share these walls. I like seeing my stuff out there. I mean, they're not the best, I admit that completely, so people probably hate them, but yeah. As you can see, this wall is now complete. We now have a segment. There were four of these down here. Do I want four of these? I do not. I can easily, if I feel like it, make a gateway or a tower of a similar design, which I probably will be doing during the series. So once this is done, let's say that's complete. It's probably not. Finish editing. Save it as... Tool wall module. So now, if I want to, I can just simply go in. Where's it? Tool wall module. Boop. Long way round. There we go. Now, as you can see, we now have a gigantic wall ready to be made. And as you can see, that looks impressive in large scale. 
So you can actually have an entire city next to that. Obviously, it's not the best. I've just built it basic to make it look okay. But yeah, this is what you get. Modular building. It is the best way to build larger buildings. You can do it with houses, let's say. And obviously, you won't be able to do it with walls because then you won't be able to actually delete the walls. So you'd have to physically build your walls out of slabs. Let's just simply go there. You see this? That'll be your wall. You don't want that high. So you want to be one, two, three, four, five, six. So you want to remove that. Then build it all yourself with six high, which will obviously take a long time. Let's just go... Oof. There you go. So this will be a modular house. So I can do that and then basically, let's go, I want uh, this to be stone of that variety. There we go. Because now, if I wanted to, obviously I can have any of these sides open, I can make this a corner house. So I did this. Obviously this can be used on corners. I can then connect it up to two, or two others on either side of there, another one there, and make a four-sided house. Modular construction. There we go. Like I say, I wanted to say, finish editing, let's save that as corner module. Now I can just simply go, there we go. There we go, so as you can see, so finish, build, finish, please don't crash. So there we go. How's it one off? I apparently built it one off, but you do get the idea. So this is how I am building my walls. Very quick, very basic modular wall construction. And obviously, I'm going to be doing that with everything, as you can tell with the gate. So either way, I've been the Fallen Shogun. There's been modular wall construction. Hopefully, it helps you a little bit. I am very annoyed that did not come out by one. But either way, if you want to watch the series of how I'm using modular construction, there will be a link at the end. But either way, ciao for now, people. Bye-bye.